Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a complete guide on IKEA Pax wardrobes. So here are my first ever IKEA Pax wardrobes. This is my first time ever getting them. I'm going to give you a completely honest review of how I find them, how they were to build, how they were to design and I also want to show you guys that they are custom made. So, so many people have asked me for a link to these wardrobes. Pax wardrobes don't work like that, you have to completely custom make them yourself which is fabulous because they do so many different types. They have so many different doors so many different knobs so i went for these knobs but there are literally like so many different ones and you kind of have to go into store to get the feel for the ones that you like and the ones you feel will work for your house there are sliding doors there are plain doors there are mirror doors there are so many doors and they also have them all online so as well as showing you inside my ikea packs wardrobe i'm also going to show you how to design it and that includes going online and doing it. You don't actually have to go into store to order a Pax wardrobe. So I'm going to show you exactly how I designed mine and how much they cost as well. Because I actually can't remember. So I'm going to have to go online and redesign it again. And then a total cost will come up. It was on the budget end for wardrobes, in my opinion. Especially for wardrobes as beautiful as they look. They're a lot cheaper than getting them built in professionally. I want you to leave today's video feeling a little bit more confident that you know about IKEA Pax wardrobes and you have something in your mind maybe before you go into store and when you do go into store there are people to help you as well if you want it or as I said you can design an order online but I just want to explain what they are basically, how they work, how much they cost and all of that so let's show you around my IKEA Pax wardrobes to start with so here they are from top to bottom this space was an awkward measurement, I can't remember what it was exactly but um, it didn't fit the IKEA Pax measurement. So we could have just put it back in there and left that, but I wanted them to look built in. So my stepdad, luckily for me, is a carpenter and came round and just put two pieces of MDF each side and then Jordan painted them white. So it does look like they are built in. And then at the top, excuse the painting, it's not finished yet, <laughs> so there is a bit of patchiness everywhere. You can get ultra tall IKEA Pax wardrobes, which I didn't know about. I genuinely didn't know about when I went in, which I'm annoyed about now because I probably would have gone for the ultra tall ones. But never mind, I like the way the two baskets look on top. They are from Matalan, but when I'm doing the design process, I will show you the extra tall ones. So I went for these panelled doors which I think look lovely and give quite a classic look and then I went for these long gold handles when we got the wardrobe and Jordan put it up it was slightly bent my stepdad when he built it in in the sides managed to fix it so I'm not really sure what was going on there uh, you do need someone that knows what they're doing DIY wise to put them together I mean Jordan did a good job and you could hardly notice the fact they were slightly tilted but my stepdad fixed it and I don't know how I'm afraid <laughs> but it really wasn't too bad I guess it's just because the space was a little bit off so excuse the girl's wardrobe it's not quite 100% organized yet but this is it inside so as you can see we have three baskets going up we then have a shelf and we then have a hanging rail at the top. Now, we do have another hanging rail here, which is going to go about there. Um, those sleeping bags won't be hung up, it's just because they're in here for the moment. But Jordan needs some different kind of screws. So that's the only thing. They didn't send the right screws for this, which was kind of annoying. So... You do pay cheap, but sometimes you do have a few things missing like that. All of these storage boxes in here are also IKEA. So literally everything you're seeing, apart from the clothes, is IKEA. So there is the wardrobe inside. So now I've shown you around my IKEA Packs wardrobe. I'm going to show you on screen how you design them online. And designing them online is exactly the same as in store the only thing is in store you have everything in front of you all of the doors you have some mock-up ideas 
you have all of the handles. So I personally would recommend going in store to design it. That's where I would feel comfortable doing it. But you can do it online if you wanted to. You could maybe like do a mock-up online and then go into store and finalise it all off because I just feel like it's kind of like a better decision to go in when you're with everything and you can see it. But you can do what you like, obviously. So I'm going to show you how I designed mine online and then that will come up with a total price of how much it costs as well. So I am using the Google Chrome browser. I tried to use Safari on my Mac, but it just wouldn't load up properly. You do have to play around and see what browser it works on for you. I'll leave a link in the description box to the IKEA PAX Planner. Okay, so I'm going to open the Google Chrome browser. Here is my IKEA PAX Planner. So, as you can see up here, you have the filters. So, show all, show all, show all. And I'm going to also click, sh well, you, I guess you don't need to click show all, but for me, this is where I went wrong on the height. I only clicked 201 centimetres when you can get 236 centimetres height. So, just for argument's sake, I'll show you exactly what I got. I think these are all like the standard measurements. So I got this one here. As you can see, it comes in all these different colors. I went for white just because it kind of goes with everything. And I'm gonna put it over here. So that is the height that I've got. But if you went for the taller one, I'll put it next to it just so you can see what it looks like. You can see it's much taller and we'll go all the way to the ceiling. But again, speak to someone in store about that because you do have to have a certain ceiling height. I think my ceiling is big enough, but definitely speak to someone in store if you do want a taller one. But here is the one I've got here. So yeah, you just choose your base and you can do all different kind of sizes. So make sure you know your space and you've measured it and how big you want it. Come in 50 width, 75 width and 100 width. So for that space, 100 width across was perfect if you're not really sure on your measurements then get someone to help you out or go in store and they will help you out as long as you take your measurements in so knowing your measurements is obviously a big part of designing your packs wardrobe so i'm then going to go back to the main menu and go on to interior organizers this is where you design the inside of your wardrobe so i'm actually going to move it to there just find it easier to work with there and zoom in slightly Zoom out, you can kind of like play around. Okay, so the first thing I want to put in is my baskets. As you can see, there are so many different interior organizers, and when you go in store, they are all there. All the different interior organizers are all there, so you can have a look. So I'm just scrolling down to find the baskets, but there are so many different things you can put into your IKEA PAX wardrobe. The possibilities are endless. So here is a mesh basket. So I'm going to put one right at the bottom as that's where mine is. So one goes there. Then I've got three. So if you want to do it too, it tells you how close you can have it together because that's stopped me going down. And then one there. So I have three baskets. And now I then just have a plain shelf. So just this plain white shelf, which is gonna come and sit on top of the basket. So, so far the price is 115 pounds. And then I wanna put my two rails in. So you could go mad inside and put all these stuff in, but I did wanna keep it quite simple. And the reason I went for the baskets is they're actually cheaper then the drawers, so that's why I went for the baskets. Now let me find just the plain clothes rail. Oh, they do do white mesh baskets as well, which I didn't realise, otherwise I would have got the white ones. Literally the possibilities are endless with this PAX planner. And I'm looking forward to actually designing my next wardrobe now because I really enjoyed the whole design process. Okay, so I'm gonna put a rail at the top at the very top there. And then because it's a baby wardrobe, that's why I've managed to fit in two rails. So then my next one is gonna go 
belt there. So that is the interior of my IKEA Pax wardrobe. Obviously you can do however you want and I'm looking forward to having a real experiment. Now I kind of know what I'm doing next time. So then you go back to main menu and I need to add doors, which is always interesting because I always forget how you do it. Okay, so when you want to add your doors, you need to click on the outer frame. So that literally took me ages to figure that one out. So you need to just click on the outer frame and then doors come up. So yeah, that was fun. That took me about five minutes to figure that one out. Anyway, we, we got there in the end. <laughs> So, literally there are so many doors, okay? So many doors, and you can use this filter system if you know what color you want. And then, when you, as I said, when you go into Ikea, all the doors are there, so you can see them all, which makes it so much easier, because I've actually forgotten the name of the doors that I have got. But when you're there, the name is right in front of you, so you won't forget, but here they are, the Tissydale door in white. So you just add the door to the wardrobe, one door. So sometimes you do have to play around with it. Oh great, that's not what I want. Yeah, I'm having a bit of problems adding the door. So hang on, let me just click duplicate on that. Oh hang on, now, now I'm looking at it from a different view. I can bring it down better. So definitely play around with the view because now I can do this. You've got a different perspective. So try and look at it from like straight on instead of up. So now I'm looking at it straight on, but to be fair, it doesn't really matter because when you build it, you can put these components where you like. So to add the doors, click the frame, then you're gonna click on doors. There are sliding doors if you wanted sliding doors. Do you know what? I've never even thought about having sliding doors. If I just put a pair of white no, they're too big. Okay, so if you want sliding doors that go into store, basically, <laughs> you obviously need to have like a certain measurement. So back, we don't want sliding doors, just normal doors. So, Tissydale, let me get those doors up again. So as you can see, it's a bit of trial and error. You do have to have a bit of patience. I don't think Jordan will get on very well with this. He builds them and I design them. So there are the doors on. And that is exactly how mine look. And then I'm gonna go back and I want the door handles now. So I just need to figure out how I find the door handles. Right, okay, so you click on the door and knobs and handles come up. So handles here. So I know that mine are gold. So just for argument's sake, what well, says brass actually, but they look gold. Then mine are the bigger ones, so they do have the smaller ones, which are seven pounds, but I know mine were 11 pounds. So I'm just gonna put them on. So there is my IKEA Pax wardrobes with a total price of 266 pounds. For some reason, I thought they were around 300, but they were only 266 pounds, which I think is an amazing price for these beautiful wardrobes. Obviously, these wardrobes are I think you class them as a single wardrobe, 100 centimetres width. As we're jiggling the house around a bit, if you are new to my channel, which I haven't even said, my name is Lucy, like way over halfway through the video, and I am a mum of two boys, soon to be four. I'm pregnant with twin girls, so we have a lot going on at the moment in this house. So we're gonna move the boys' bedrooms around, they currently share, but we're doing an extension, and they will be having new wardrobes in their two new rooms. So I'm gonna definitely use Ikea packs, and I'm gonna quickly design it just off camera and show you how much it will cost for like a bigger double style wardrobe. So I just made some bigger wardrobes for the future boys bedroom, which are 250 centimeters across. And I put a few extra bits inside just because I got a bit excited on the planner. So I put in some pull-out shoe storage, a pull-out tray, which that you could put jewellery and smaller things in, um, trouser hangers, as well as the standard baskets. And the reason I always go for the baskets is because they are usually half the price of the drawers and they do the same thing. And they look nice, so that's why I go for the baskets. You can definitely get caught out with creating a really expensive wardrobe if you're not careful and don't go for the cheaper options but if you wanted to obviously 
have the more expensive stuff. Then have it obviously if it's within your budget. I added sliding doors to that wardrobe just to see how much it would be and the sliding doors alone were like £400 so it nearly doubled the price of the wardrobe. I just added plain white doors with um, like a panelling detailing. I thought they looked nice, quite classic. And then I added gold handles and the total price just shy of £700. So for a massive giant wardrobe, which is floor to ceiling, I went for the taller ones this time. With all of those different storage solutions inside, I don't think it's bad at all. And I'm definitely gonna be going Ikea packs for my next bedroom that I decorate. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, if you did please give me a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.